thought that it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. Oh my God, what did our naive sister get herself into now? Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Mm -hmm. Got your note. Glad you can make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. going it's fine she just can't take a joke it was just a prank han what did you do we just messed around beth it wasn't serious you jerks hannah hannah so should we go after her you know i kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now mike
hell was that? Anna! Anna! Huh? Anna! Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Anna? Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right, we will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Oh, that's good. In what way did it make you happy? Oh. Interesting. It's interesting. So, would it make you happy to spend the whole week here all by yourself? And why is that? There is a fine line between the peacefulness of solitude and the loneliness of isolation. <laughs> this is something we need to explore further. Don't you agree? But I'm afraid we're out of time for now. Until the next session, try to surround yourself with friends. 
in a place that makes you feel safe. One year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Listeners, an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, with their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this. And that, I know it would mean 